Hey there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and I have a new what sold on eBay this last week video to share. Um, this first item is an antique lantern that we found at an estate sale. I paid $10 for this. It was in excellent condition minus a tiny bit of damage on the top that I'll show you. But this was a really cool find. It had the original red glass tumbler. The name brand was Dietz Monarch. And I'm probably butchering that, but there it is there. The damage was right here on the top where somebody had kind of pried open the top, most likely to let the heat from the lantern out. I'm assuming that this, this um, tubing got kind of hot, which I think is the design of it. Here on the side, there were some numbers, and this is how I discovered what year the lantern was from and I don't remember exactly how that worked but I do remember that this was how I figured it out it's from these numbers here and I did trace it back to 1906 so that was kind of a fun sale kind of a fun find definitely a, a nice piece of history here very nice condition it was kind of a brass tone and I had a lot of people asking me to if it was actually brass and it was not it was made of steel all right next up I have um, we purchased a huge lot of these Beverly design depression glass and it was a huge box I believe we paid about forty dollars for the box and it had I think about ninety to a hundred different pieces in it different glasses plates bowls um, dishes even had like a little glass ice bucket a lot of really cool stuff um, so we paid less than a dollar per piece. Um, somebody purchased, there were five of these tumblers, seven of these little goblets, and three of these little goblets, and one person purchased them all together and paid shipping. I think the total sale was about $75 for all of the glasses. So that was a nice sale. We have sold a lot of these pieces already, and we still have a few left. So it's, it was definitely a good find, a good purchase. And this is an old cutting board. I believe it used to have a, a glass globe that went on top of it. The name brand was Nissan, Nissan, Nissan from Denmark. And it was made of teak. Very pretty. Sold for $30. All right, and into the eyeglasses. This is a pair of vintage Gucci eyeglasses. And you can see the typical Gucci G there on the side. And then on the inside of each arm is the name imprinted there, Gucci. And those sold for $40. And this is a pair of Von Zipper sunglasses. These are not prescription. Just regular sunglasses. Um, they do say Von Zipper right here across the top of the bridge. And then they have the logo here on the side. Looks like that, the VZ. And these I did find at a thrift store for $3. And they were actually featured in one of my videos when I um, went shopping. And so they were in really nice condition. The lenses didn't have any scratches on them at all. And I found them in a big box full of junk eyeglasses and sunglasses, and they sold for $60. All right, this is a pair of Giorgio Armani's. When I found these at the thrift store, I actually didn't realize that they were Giorgio Armani's because they didn't have any markings on the arms, on the insides of the arms. But they did have this very small, very fine Giorgio Armani, and it was on the top of the arms right there on the top, right here. And I didn't notice it at the thrift store, but I went ahead and purchased them because they were, a, I could tell they were a nice quality rimless frame. And rimless frames are really popular, and I have sold rimless frames that didn't have a name on them before. So I thought, well, I'll just sell them for 20 or $30 as a pair of rimless, rimless frames. But when I got them home and was cleaning them up and looking at them a little more closely, I did notice that they were Giorgio Armani's. And so that was a really nice and surprising find and they sold for $80. This is a pair of Kate Spade. 
prescription sunglasses, I mean prescription eyeglasses. You can see the name there on the side. Kate Spade, New York. Very nice condition. And those sold for $50. And this is a pair of silhouette rimless and hingeless eyeglasses. I found these at a thrift store for $2. Um, I just listed them about three weeks ago. And these are very popular. I always sell them really well. I had a case to go with them. And they didn't have any markings on the inside. And that's pretty typical. They get rubbed off. A lot of times the markings are actually on the earpieces. And so they don't last really long. But I had several people email me about this pair of eyeglasses and make me a lowball offer of like $20 or $30. And I just stuck to my guns on the $60 and then eventually they did sell. And it didn't take very long. Like I said, they've only been listed for about three weeks. So they sold today for $60, full price. Another thing about this pair of eyeglasses was the case. And that's one reason why I stuck to my price was because these cases right here, these little silhouette cases, um, I find these fairly often and I can always sell them for $20 to $25 depending on their condition. So I could have sold the case alone for $20. So that's one reason why I did stick to my original price of $60 on those. And this is a pair of Escada. Really cute eyeglasses, kind of a different teardrop shape lens frame and they had this really cool arm that kind of arched over like that very unique Escada on the inside of the arm and those sold for $50 and this is a pair of Nicole Miller oh, you can see the name right there and those had a really interesting shape as well if you can see that They had kind of a half rim, but very dramatic shape to them. Really pretty. You can see that a little bit better there. Really cool. And I did have a case to go with those as well. And they sold for $35. And here's a pair of Tura. I love finding Tura. They're a lot of times have a really unique style design. Um, you can see the name there. It's almost always embossed like that in the metal. So you can tell you have an authentic pair of Tura glasses that way usually. It, it's raised so you can feel it if you feel it with your fingers. And these had a really cool design on the side there. You can kind of see that glitter design. Really pretty. And somebody emailed me about these and asked me some questions about them. And so I sent them an offer through the... Um, eBay system for $30 and they accepted. So this pair sold for $30. All right, and this is a lot of eyeglasses that we decided not to list for different reasons. Um, a lot of times we find eyeglasses at estate sales and we'll just buy like a whole box of them or at auctions or we might snipe them off of eBay or sometimes this might just be some eyeglasses that we purchased and then we realized that there was too much damage to really list them or maybe we damaged them when we were cleaning them or something. Or a, most of these eyeglasses actually are eyeglasses that were not marked. So they didn't have any markings on them at all. And they might have been really nice eyeglass frames in really nice condition, but because they didn't have any markings on them, we decided not to sell them. And so that's what this is. I just... Um, a lot of times when I'm going through eyeglasses, I'll decide not to list them for whatever reason. I typically don't like to list eyeglasses if they are not going to sell for at least $20, especially if I have to do work to them, like any cleaning or anything. If I can't get at least $20 for them, I kind of deem them as not worth my time and I just kind of throw them into a box. And then once I get a whole bunch of them, I list them in a lot like this. I also use these eyeglasses sometimes for parts. So some of these eyeglasses might have been, been missing um, nose pads or screws or something. I described that they were for parts or repair costumes or crafts or something like that in my description. But I actually had two lots that sold for $41 each. 
So that's a, a way I get a little bit of my money back and also just get them out of here because, you know, I start to collect too many eyeglasses and it just becomes a hazard, especially when we're living in the RV and we really don't have that much room. And so that's what those two sales were. All right. So I have some Bonanza sales to show you. And if you aren't familiar with Bonanza, let's see there, you can see their name there. Um, Bonanza is a site that, um, a newer site, but a good site. And the thing I love about Bonanza is that you don't have to do any extra work. They basically take your eBay listings and import them to their own site. It took me maybe an hour to sign up and to give them all the information so that they could import my eBay listings. And then the nice thing also is that if you sell something on Bonanza, it automatically is ended on eBay. So if you're interested in Bonanza, I will link to them in the description below and so you can check that out and um, like I said it's really there's really no reason not to you don't I don't make a whole lot of sales on Bonanza but I don't think eyeglasses sell really well on Bonanza so and most of my listings are eyeglasses so if you have something else that you're selling it might sell really well on Bonanza you never know sale was for a Maui Jim sunglass case just the case no eyeglasses and that sold for $22. And this is a pair of Belova prescription eyeglasses. Really cute. Polka dot design on the inside there. And those sold for $35. And then this is a pair of Marcon Autoflex with Flexon. I find these, this brand a lot. And I know I've talked about it before on this channel, so I won't spend a lot of time, but they, usually sell pretty well. This pair sold for $30. And then the last pair I want to talk about is this pair of Jeffrey Bean prescription eyeglasses and they also sold for $30 on Bonanza. Bonanza, you know, it's up to you. You can try it out if you like it or not. As you can see, I've only made like 19 sales on Bonanza the entire time I've been using it. And I've probably been using it for, I don't know, six months or so. So not a whole lot of sales there for me, but you know, that's 19 sales that I might not have made otherwise. So definitely worth it. Like I said, there's no extra work involved because everything's pretty much automatic once you get it set up. And so um, definitely worth, worth checking out if you haven't already been introduced to that site. And like I said, I will link to it below so that'll make it easy for you to find it. And um, thanks again for watching these videos. You guys are awesome and take care.